Hey, ChemStars, this is Mrs. Video bringing you more of Section 9.2. Um, the first two videos of Section 9.2, we're setting up BCA tables and showing you how to use those. Uh, but they always started and ended with the mole. We started with how many moles and we ended up with how many moles. All right, but life doesn't usually work that way. If we go in the lab, we do not measure moles. We measure grams or we measure um, volume. Um, I'm not sure, but we might be able to measure you know, atoms or molecules, okay? So what happens if we start with something besides the mole, or what happens if we um, need something behind, besides the mole? Uh, probably the most practical thing, say if I work for P&G again, um, we don't have mole meters at P&G. We probably have, you know, uh, scales that measure grams, that we can measure out our reactants, we can measure out our products, okay? But we still need to set up a BCA table. We still need to go through the mole first. So if we're given any of these things, we need to convert to the mole, do our BCA table, and then convert to what we truly want, okay? So it says in a typical stoichiometric problem, the given quantity is first converted into moles. So you have to read carefully. Are we given um, molecules or atoms? We need that 6.2 times 10 23rd. Are we given grams? We need the periodic table to figure out how many moles. If we're given volume, we need 22.4. Do you remember doing that? All right, so we have to make sure we have moles. Then what? We use the mole ratio from the balanced equation to calculate the number of moles of the wanted substance. Finally, Whatever unit we want, all right, we're going to convert them into units of measurement, okay? So we go from the mole to whatever we want. So here we go. If we have grams of copper uh, reactants, like copper wire, uh, react with excess silver nitrate, how many grams of silver are going to be produced? Why would I want that? Well, folks, um, if I produce enough silver, I can retire. That sounds pretty nice right now, okay? So anyway, I really want to know how many grams of silver I'm going to make to know if I take it to the bank and I'm set for life, okay? That is a very realistic question for me, okay? So um, hang on, let me just show you something real quick. There's my copper, and that's the silver nitrate. He's going to pour some of that into the test tube. So he put in a lot of silver nitrate. We're still going to have excess silver nitrate. But do you think he measured that copper wire in moles? No, he probably measured that copper wire on a scale and found grams, okay? But look closely. Do you see what's happening? I hope he's going to uh, make it a little bit closer to the camera so you can really see. And what's happening? We are looking for the product. I bet we're going to be making some silver. Do you notice that the copper wire, that color is gone? Do you notice how that wire is looking thicker and thicker? We're forming the silver crystals. Okay. Well, I think you've uh, seen enough. So, okay, let's go ahead and stop. And let's go back to here. All right. So, um, let's just say for, uh, for whatever, all right, he measured out 8.95 grams of copper. All right. So, now what? I want to know how much silver he actually made. I want to know if I can retire off of how much silver is being made. I think that's a good question, all right? So let's see what you do next. All right, so here's my BCA table. I even balance the equation for you. Isn't that nice of me? Now, what goes in here? Moles. Moles goes in here, all right? If you want, we can already put the zero and the zero here because that works every time. But I can't put eight point what do I say? 8.95 here, can I? That's grams. It's not moles. So over here, this is my half. This is my reactants. What is it that I need to do? I need to convert uh, the 8.95 grams into moles. If you don't have your calculator, if you don't have a periodic table, get it out now, okay? We definitely need them. So pause this, grab what you need, and come back.
All right, so what, what happened? So we have grams here, grams, periodic table. Look up copper. I gave you something easy. I gave you copper. Um, what's the molar mass of copper? 63.55. Where do I put that? Do I put it on the top or do I put it on the bottom? What's going to work? I need to put it on the bottom. Why? So the grams cancels out. What is it that I'm looking for? I want moles. So that goes on top, doesn't it? So now you have a calculator. What are you going to do? do, do, do? 8.95 divided by 63.55. What do you get? I got 0 0.141 moles. I hope you did too. So what do I do with that number? That's important. What do I do with that number? I put it right here. All right. That's how many moles of copper I start with. Now, what about silver nitrate? He just poured a whole bunch of silver nitrate into that test tube, didn't he? All right, so do I know how much I have? No. So what do I assume that is still is in excess? Just like before, if I don't give you the other amount, assume you have plenty of it. So what do I do now? I need to do the change. So bring down the point 141. I'm going to be subtracting it. And now what? You figure it out. Pause this and fill in the rest of the BCA table. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you figure it out. So I got negative or uh, subtract 2.2, right? How to do that? 0. 0.141 divided by 1 times 2. There I go. What's 0. 0.141 divided by 1 times 2? What is 0. 0.141 divided by 1 times 1? And now I'm going to subtract. This is zero. This is, well, it's a whole bunch minus 0.282. Oh, a whole bunch. And I'm going to add. I'm going to add. Now, is this going to get me to retirement? If I walk up with 0.282 moles of silver, what will the bank say to me? Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. We don't sell silver by the mole. What am I going to want? I need to know how many grams of silver. I can I have right there. So how many grams of silver is in 0 0.282 moles? That's a great question. All right. So what unit has to go on the bottom? Everyone, one mole. Why? So the moles cancel out. So what is it I want? I will need grams. Periodic table. Look up silver and what do you get? I got uh, 107.87. So now what am I going to do? The 107.87 is on the top. I'm going to do what? I'm going to times. That's right. So there I go. So my question is, how much am I going to, um, uh, how much do I make? How much money do I get? Well, let's find out, okay? I have 30.7. Uh, grams. All right. So I went ahead and I looked up on the internet. So how much money is uh, silver worth? It's going for 0 0.41 per gram. All right. So I'm going to stop this again. So how much money is 30.7 uh, grams? Well, as it turns out, um, one gram is worth 41 cents. So I get a whopping $12 and 57 cents or 59 cents for my, um, my troubles there. Um, well, guess what? I think you're stuck with me. I'm going to not going to retire on that. Okay. So here's my recap. You ready? Oops. I need to step that. There we go. There's my recap. If you have grams and you want grams, so what do you have to do? Convert grams to moles. Why? The only thing in the BCA table is moles. Did you catch that? The only thing in the BCA table is moles, okay? Then what? Use the BCA table and convert. Use that mole ratio to, to find the moles of what you want. Then what? Convert the moles back to grams or liters or atoms or whatever you want, all right? So notice it's a three-step process. Here, I converted what I have into moles. Step number two, I did the BCA table with moles. And step number three is I converted moles into what I really wanted. All right, so that is the recap. So let's try the next page. Well, Mrs. Vandoy, I'm going to save that next page for later. Um, that is all we have here. What I want you to do is go to your note packet, and let's work on, this is page five, I believe, and that's page six, okay? So go ahead and work on those, 
and um, check the um, check Mrs. McCau Ms. McCauley's work and and uh, see the answers to that. Okay. Um, hope this helps. Don't wait to be great. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.